dog. don't want my feet to get stabbed. But hey, a little armor and a lot of speed could protect me, right? Absolutely, Sir Wayne. Well, I'm going to take these down to the running track and give them a spin. Farewell, armor bearer. Be back soon. In those shoes, you definitely will be quick. today is Acts 13, 1 through 5. The church sends Barnabas and Saul. So put on all of God's armor. Evil days will come, but you will be able to stand up to anything. And after you have done everything you can, you will still be standing. Ephesians 6, 13. Every step we take, we should help bring peace and be ready to share the good news with others just like Barnabas and Saul did on all of their missionary journeys. Well, how important is the right footwear for a soldier? 
Soldiers in Bible times wore really unusual looking sandals which were actually very comfortable and helped them walk many miles. They probably weren't as strong or as fun looking as some of our shoes are today, but these sandals were great because the air could get to their feet so their feet could breathe, which also meant they didn't get blisters like we get sometimes in our shoes. Terrain was rocky in the ancient world, requiring sturdy, protective footwear. You know, on a battlefield or near a fort, the enemy might scatter barbed spikes or sharp stones to slow down the army. The Bible tells us to put on the footwear of the gospel, or the sandals of peace, which means going to tell other people about Jesus and what we believe. But, you know, sometimes that can be hard. Who thinks that sometimes it's hard to tell our friends and our family about Jesus? Or that we even go to church? Sometimes we might think that they won't listen, or it's a waste of time, or that we can't do it. We might know that, or we might think that they don't want to hear. And you know what? That's what the devil wants us to think. He's God's enemy, and he doesn't want us to tell other people. Just like the Romans had to watch out for rocky and dangerous ground, we also have to watch out. The devil scatters traps for us and as we're trying to spread the gospel. You know, the gospel of peace is our protection. It reminds us that it's by God's grace, and that means it's undeserved on our part, that we are really saved. Paul said we need to fit our feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. You know, that doesn't mean that we need special shoes. That doesn't mean that we need a special attire on our feet. It does mean that we need to be ready to put on whatever shoes we wear to get into action when we're needed. You know, God's counting on us to take the peace of Christ to the world. And he wants us to go forward and spread the gospel just as Paul and his friend Barnabas did. You know, Saul was Paul's name before he came, became a Christian. He was still known as Saul when God called him and Barnabas to set forth on their first missionary journey. For Saul, the trip to Seleucia and Cyprus was, the, was only the first step in a lifelong journey carrying the gospel throughout the Roman Empire and even to Rome itself. Paul was always ready to go wherever God led him. So was Peter. So was Barnabas. So was Paul's student Timothy. You know, God wants us to have the same willing and able hearts. He wants us to be ready to respond at a moment's notice. Now, like a good soldier, we need our feet fitted so that we can always be ready to spread the gospel of peace. As exciting as the idea of armor of God is when you first read about it, the shoes are one of the most important parts people seem to overlook. Shoes aren't always as flashy as the breastplate or as the helmet. They're not as exciting as the shield or the sword. And their purpose is one that scares many believers. Jesus gave his followers one final command as he went back to heaven. Go and teach the gospel to every nation. Teaching the gospel means telling the story of Jesus, but it also means bringing the peace and love to Jesus, of Jesus to others. When someone is hurting, we bring them comfort and prayer. When someone needs a hand, we move quickly to lend that hand. When someone needs food, shelter, or clothing, we're quick to respond. Just like the Marines who are often called upon to leave home and serve on a moment's notice, God needs his soldiers to be ready to move at any time. God is counting on us, not only to be his hands, but to be his feet of crisis, in times of crisis. As a soldier knows that a good pair of boots can mean life or death, at the very least, they can be the difference between coming home with two feet or coming home with less. If we want to be true servants for Jesus, we will make ourselves ready, willing, and able to put boots on the ground 
at a moment's notice and take the gospel to those who need it. Are you ready to mobilize? Are you ready to hit the ground running when someone needs Jesus? It's time to fit our feet with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace so that we can carry God's message to the world. You know, bottom line, every step we take, we should help bring peace and be ready to share the good news with others. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, help us to bring peace wherever we go. Help us to be willing and ready to put on those shoes and carry your message to others. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, hello, childrens, and welcome back to another edition of Armor of God Trivia. Just in case you forgot, here's how to play once again. Answer the following questions about today's lesson. Number one, Paul said to fit our feet with the readiness that comes from blank. Is it A, the gospel of peace, P, righteousness, C, salvation? Think about back to Miss Lady Deb's lesson. What, what was she speaking about? Was it the gospel of peace? Was it righteousness? Was it salvation? Well, if you guessed the gospel of peace, you are correct. Quite splendid, children. Moving on to question two. So who chose Saul and Barabbas to go on their journey? Was it A, Peter, P, the church leaders, C, God? Now, thinking back to Miss Lady Deb's lesson, what do you think it might be? Was it Peter? Was it the church leaders? Or was it God? Well, think about it. Think about it. If you said God, you are correct. You chaps are doing so lovely today. Moving on to number three. Saul would later change his name to A. John, B. Paul, or C. Silas. Now, let's ponder back to Miss Lady Deb's lesson. What do you think he changed his name to? Think about it, children. Think about it. Well, if you guess B. Paul, you are correct. He changed his name from Saul to Paul. Great job, little girls and little boys. Moving on to number four. Saul and Barabbas were led on their journey by A, a local guide, B, John, or C, the Holy Spirit. Now, again, we're pondering back to Miss Lady Deb's lesson. What do you think it was? Was it A, a local guide, B, John, or C, the Holy Spirit? It was see the Holy Spirit. Great job, chaps and chapettes. Final question. God wants us to be quick to blank. A. Help those in need. B. Share Jesus with others. Or C. Both A and B. Now, thinking back to Miss Lady Deb's lesson, what do you think it might be? Think about it. Think about it. If you guessed A and B, you are correct. God wants us to help others in need and share Jesus with others. Again, chaps and chapettes, thank you for joining us for another edition of Armor of God Trivia. And again, join us next morrow where we will be here at the same time. Morrow! For more information on Aztec Church of the Nazarene, please visit our Facebook page and email us. God bless.